All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out of Tolan and his truth. I'm Bathagamoth, GMS Dallas. I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. I'm going to entitle this one simply, Only the Chosen Can Receive This Truth. Because that's how the Lord set it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Only the chosen can receive this. If you're not of the chosen, you're going to reject this thing. And all these things are written Bible prophecy, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's why uh, 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 the majority or most of our uh, uh, of our nation and these other nations as well, uh, uh, other than the scattered seed among them, these other nations, you know, that are of the chosen to receive it. We'll receive it, man. You know what I'm saying? And no matter what they look like, you know what I'm saying? Those that are scattered among these nations, you know, if they're of the uh, 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 the chosen, then they'll uh, receive this message, man. You know, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, that scattered seed. Whatever they look like, man, among all these nations, you know. But, uh, you know, the majority of our nation is going to uh, uh, reject this knowledge, man. They're not going to be able to receive it because only the chosen can receive this truth, man, and it's set up that way by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai from the foundation of the earth. As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick in Ephesians, the first chapter. This is Ephesians chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 3. This is Ephesians 1 and 3, and it reads, Blessed be the power and father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, you know, and that's because of this truth, man. You know, that all begins with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, you know, which is the, the beginning of those heavenly places, man, because within this truth, you know, we get the names, you know, we got the correct uh, uh, names to call on, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, of course, everything that we learn in this truth to pray and, and, and be brotherly, to love our brother, uh, you know, we'll give alms, you know, those, those uh, charity, give that charity because charity mo uh, covers a multitude of sins, you know, all of those things. That are gonna put you on, on on the right track and bring you uh, uh, out of the filth of the world back into righteousness, man. You know, that's like that's heavenly places, man. You know what I'm saying? Those heavenly places. And another thing I think about is the the brothers. You know, when we get together for lessons or, or just to just to be among brothers, you know, we get together. <clears throat> you know, while these people in the world are doing whatever they're doing in wickedness, you know, the brothers are together, man. You know. It's always a, a heavenly conversation. You know, we're always talking about things happening in the world, filtering it through the scriptures like the scriptures tell us to do, having a, a, a biblical conversations, you know, and it's always a bib biblical mindset, you know, which we're trying to uh, uh, store those treasures in heavens, man, in, in heaven, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, filling up that spiritual bank account, man, because everything here is carnal and, and, and you know, the, 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 the money from the money, which is really, you know, it's fiat currency. There's nothing it's not worth anything nothing is backing it you know to to whatever you're you're these people are, are, are uh, chasing after man women you know uh just just uh having it good here man you know what i'm saying this is carnal and temporal and is about to be destroyed man so you know those uh uh you know being blessed with those spiritual blessings in heavenly places in hamashiach is a beautiful thing man which we've been blessed with those things you know the Yabashim i shy for that you know what I'm saying? Because we were chosen, man. We're just going to go into it, you know, which those are the ones that are going to receive this uh, this truth, man. Only the chosen can receive this truth, as the title reflects. <clears throat> so like verse 4, it says, According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. There it is, man, you know, because his elect, you know, uh, again, as a matter of fact, real quick, when you read in, in Psalms, I'm just going to let the, uh, the scriptures, you know, because I didn't even have this one. I'm just going to let the, 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 the spirit move. This is and flow. This is Psalms 32 and verse one. It says, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. That's a beautiful thing, man. Those are those people. When we go back to uh, uh, Ephesians. The first chapter and verse four says, according Ephesians one and four, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. <clears throat> you know, those that are the, the most high is not going to impute that iniquity upon man. You know what I'm saying? 
they're, they are covered, as it says, man. You know, as it said in Psalms, the 32nd chapter, you know, their sins are covered, you know. And how is, how is that? You know, the blood of our big brother, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, I can be a part of that. It's covering these people, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord didn't die for everybody, you know, contrary to popular belief, man. <laughs> you got these demons out here, these the, the, the sinners of the world, the wicked of the world, thinking that they're covered by the, the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? No, man. The whole nation is even, isn't even covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to have to die on this side, man. You know what I'm saying? But the elect, the one third, you know, that remnant that's returning in these times, those that are uh, 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 have been uh, blessed, you know, to be uh, uh, chosen to receive this knowledge in these uh, last days and believe and, and, and live thus, you know, according to it. Thus said the Lord, you know, have that pure faith, that true faith, you know, and belief, you know. They're the ones that, that, hey, man, that's that's what all this, that's what this going into, man. Those are the ones that's going to be uh, without blame before him in love, man. You know, they were given the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Yeah, the Lord chose before, man. Before he created anything, he He, he picked those spirits, man. You know, you get over here, you, you I'm going to save you. You know, I'm going to give you the knowledge. I'm going to save you. Not you. You get over there. You get over there. You know, so he, he made that separation. And he put the majority of our people, of our nation, the nation of Israel, in, in, in the Gal pile. And he put a remnant in the no Gal pile. Those are the ones in these latter days that's coming into this knowledge and they're receiving this truth. You know, only the chosen, which those were the chosen, can receive this knowledge, man. Or will receive it. You know, uh, verse 4 it says, having, a uh, like in verse 5, it says, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. To himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. And this thing is all about the will of the Lord. As a matter of fact, it's all about the will, purpose, and pleasure of the Lord. Everything is, no matter what, uh, 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 you know, your lot in this movie, you know, is, amen. It's the good pleasure of the Lord. It's the will, purpose, and pleasure of the Lord. You know, the Lord, this is the Lord's movie. This is his creation. You know, he's the potter where the clay, you know what I'm saying? He can do with his creation, what he wants to do with his creation. And he lets that be known in the Romans, the ninth chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? So that, that predestination means to choose before he chose before the foundation of the, uh, of the, of the world, before he created anything, you know, those spirits that were set up to receive this knowledge and be saved in, in, in the latter days, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you have this knowledge, this understanding, this wisdom, uh, uh, and, and you believe it, you know, you have faith. Amen. That's a blessing, man. You know what I'm saying? Could very well be part of the uh, of, of, of the uh, the coming salvation, man. Coming in and, and soon, man. That salvation is on the way, man. Our big brother Yahweh is on his way. But as the title reflects, only the chosen can receive this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? So real quick, let's go to Matthew. Because the Lord made it very clear in the 13th chapter. <clears throat> this is uh, Matthew 13. In the title, it says an explanation. Matthew 13 and verse 10, it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? You know, he was speaking what these people couldn't understand what he was talking about. Because the Lord don't want everybody. He doesn't want his whole nation in these times. And he did that already, uh, you know, during a time when we were in, in the physical land of Egypt, man. You know, and, and, them, and them wicked niggas got in, 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 the, in the wilderness and started murmuring, man, talking shit. You know, wanting to go back into uh, uh, slavery back into Egypt, back into slavery, man, and oppression, you know? So the Lord in this time, he says he's not going to do it again, man. You know what I'm saying? Because those same spirits are back today, man. So he's not going to say, he's not going to bring the whole nation uh, uh, out of it this time, man. Only that remnant that's returning in, in, this time, in these times pursuing the Isaiah, the 10th chapter. Verse 11, so he spoke to them in parables where they couldn't understand. It says, uh, this is verse 11, he said, it says, he answered and said unto them, red letters, Yahweh is about to speak, it says, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Who is the them that is not given to? Those that were, were not chosen to receive this knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? It says unto you, but unto you, you know, it is given. That you is talking about the remnant, the elect, those chosen before the foundation of the earth that we just read in Ephesians, the first chapter, man, you know. Only the chosen can receive this truth. Those are the ones 
that are going to receive it, man. You know, they're the only ones set up to receive it, man. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, when you when, let's jump over to Matthew, the 19th chapter. He's going to break it down again. This is Matthew 19 and 11. But he said unto them again, red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking, all men cannot receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. Exactly, man. You know, exactly. All men cannot receive this and they're not going to. Only the chosen can receive this truth, truth and only they are going to, man. You know what I'm saying? So one more. Let's get this one in, in, in Mark real quick in the fourth chapter to back that up as well. This is Mark 4 and verse 10 and it reads, and when he was alone, they that were about him with the 12 asked of him the parable. Verse 11, it says, and he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the most high, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. So those that are without, they weren't chosen, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have to be chosen from the foundation of the earth. You have to be a part of that number in order to receive this knowledge, man, to receive this gift because it was a gift, a gift of faith. You know what I'm saying? You have to be you, you have to be of that chosen number to be able to receive these things, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables to where they're not going to be able to understand, man. You know what I'm saying? So verse 12, it says, still, how shall I speak in red letters? It says that seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing they may hear and not understand lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven so the lord don't want to, them to get it man you know what i'm saying that's what he's saying right here that seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing they may hear and not understand so regardless to whether they see they're not going they're not going they're, they're really not seeing and though they hear they're not going to understand man what that reminds you of where is that written at? Let's get that. Uh, Isaiah, the sixth chapter. And verse nine, this is Isaiah 69. It reads, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not and see ye indeed, but perceive not. This is the prophecy of it. Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. And if they were to do that, then they'd be they would convert and, 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 and have the opportunity of salvation, man. But the Lord don't want them, man. It says make the, the heart, which is the mind of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Lest, which means for fear of, they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed for fear of that. You know, so the Lord is like, hey, sent the angel to block them, man. You know that, hey, bro, the Lord, man, these people do not know the true nature uh, 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 of the of, of the uh, of the living power, man. You know, you how about Shem Yahweh Shai? They don't know his true nature, man. You know, they've been taught lies and deceptions about him, you know. Uh, uh, that he's all love an all loving power you know he's a dreadful power man he's a fearful power you know he's a power that you don't want to mess with man you know what i'm saying so he don't want these people to get it man you know so that's exactly what was happening in mark the fourth chapter he didn't and he this is what he was going into he didn't want them to get he didn't want the majority of his people to to receive this man you know because only the chosen can receive this truth. It's set up that way by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's only dealing with his, his elect. You know, so real quick, let's jump over to John, the 17th chapter. We're going to get into uh, uh, who the Lord prayed for. This is uh, John 17. I'm going to read verse 9. Then I'm going to jump down. It reads, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Who is the them? The elect, man. That remnant, you know, those chosen before the foundation of the world to be able to receive this truth. That's who he prays for. He says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about the uh, the whole entire globe. That's talking about the world of Israel, which is a world uh, 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 in its own, man. You know what I'm saying? Each nation represents a world. You know, that's why you have the world, uh, uh, sea world, uh, uh, the world of, of sports. You know, you have third world countries, you know, 
dealing with an individual when they tripping, you know, just in a hey, what 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 is it said about them? Oh, uh, they just in their own they're in their own little world, you know. So there's different worlds. You have the world of animals or animal kingdom or the world of the animals, the world of the uh, aquatic animals. You know, the world of, of the living us, us uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, physical people, you know, all these are different uh, worlds, man. You know what I'm saying? So. And they're all different, man. You know what I'm saying? So and the, and, the, and, and the Lord created 18 nations, which represent worlds, man. He created 18 worlds and Israel is a world, man. He tells you that it tells you that in Isaiah 40. Uh, what's that? 45 and, and 17, I believe it is in the 45th chapter. In verse 17, which lines up with John, the third chapter, you know, sending his son, only begotten son uh, for the world, man, you know, and not the entire world, uh, uh, the elect of the of, of the world of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? So he says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So the them represents the elect, the remnant, those chosen, you know, from the foundation of the earth, pursuing the Ephesians, the first chapter, which we just read, you know, to receive this truth, man. So let's drop down to verse 18 real quick. And we're going to read down a few verses. Uh, John 17 and 18, red letters, Yahweh Shah still speaking. It says, as though, Salaki, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent, also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth, this knowledge. Neither pray I for these alone, talking about the elect, the, 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 the men that are, are, are teaching this knowledge, man. But for them also which shall believe on me through their words. So through hearing this word from these men and you believing, man, that's a beautiful thing for you, man. That, that's, that could very well mean that you're part of salvation and that you're part of the chosen from the foundation of the world, man. You know what I'm saying? And again, only the chosen can receive this truth. So those that's going to believe on him through their words, you know, are the ones that's going to receive this truth, man. You know, you're set up to believe this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, verse 20, it says, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Verse 21, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, you know? So there it is, man, you know? Only the chosen can receive this truth. They're the ones set up to receive this truth, man. You know, you got this new song going out, and this new song, everybody can't hear it, man. You know, it's not for everybody, man, you know? So let's get that real quick in Revelation, the 14th chapter. <laughs> This Revelations chapter 14 and starting at verse 1 and it reads, it says the, in the heading, it says the lamb and the 144,000 on Mount Zion. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, which represents Yahweh Shai and with him and 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads, you know, in their hearts, in their inward parts, in their minds, man. You know what I'm saying? Representing the elect, you know, the remnant, part of that, 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 that remnant that's returning in these times. It says, and I heard, which is the coming government. That's the government, man. That governing body of the of, of the earth, of the coming world. You know, Esau is the end of the world. But Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. It says, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Verse three, here's the point. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts. And the elders, which we're singing that new song. This is the new song. Christianity is an old played out song. That's not the song of the Lord. This is the song of the Lord. This is that new song, you know, which the scriptures tell you it's going to burst bottles, man. You know what I'm saying? Those old, those old bottles, you know, that can't uh, uh, take that new wine, this new song, you know what I'm saying? It's going to burst them. There's a scripture that goes into that, you know, how, how they, they, they can't receive this new, those old bottles can't receive this new wine and they burst. You know what I'm saying? So if you're, if you're not chosen, you're not going to receive. That's them not receiving this truth to destruction, man. You know, it says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and, and, and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. There it is, man. You know, so this song is not able to be learned. That's this truth uh, 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 not being able to, able to be received, man. 
because only the cho the chosen can receive this truth, man. And those are the ones that's going to receive it. The majority of, of our people are going to reject this knowledge, man. That's a that's a prophecy written that has to play out, man. So let's get that real quick in Hosea, the fourth chapter. And verse six, and it reads this is Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the most high. I will also forget thy children. So only the chosen can receive this truth. The majority of our people are going to be destroyed because they're going to reject this truth. They're going to reject this knowledge, man. They are not set up to receive it, man. You know what I'm saying? We just read it. And there's a penalty for that. So let's let's get that real quick and then we'll bring this lesson to a close. Because this thing is not set up for the whole nation. It's only set up for the remnant. That's returning in these times. This is Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. And it reads, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So the, the majority of our nation is going to be cut off and die because only the chosen can receive this truth. And the majority of our of our people were not chosen, man. And they're going to reject this truth to their own demise and destruction, man. So, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath Shah, Dawadash, Shalom.